All right, so let's have a look at Gay Lussac's law. First, we'll look at the man himself, and then what he learned and what he can teach us about the volumes of gases. So we've got Joseph Gay Lussac. Okay, he was a French chemist in the early 1800s who discovered that water is two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. That's a pretty big deal. Um, he also discovered boron in 1808, um, and he's responsible for Gay Lussac's law, which is part of the suite of what we call the ideal gas laws. All right, so basically he was responsible for a lot of stuff, and partially that was because of the time, you know, it was the early days of science, and, and that's all very exciting. But he was also a genuinely great chemist and physicist. Um, let's have a look at his Gay Lussac's law. Now, this is a essentially it's a kind of a physical law more than it is a chemistry law. But um, we're not going to look at it quantitatively as such. We're going to look at it more as a um, more as just a, a relationship between pressure and temperature. So if we've got gases in a fixed volume, and you'll see here that the volume is the same. So it's a fixed volume. One, the temperature is, we'll say, room temperature, 25 degrees, and the other one will say it's been heated up to about um, 150. As the temperature increases, so does the pressure. They are proportional. So as temperature increases, pressure increases. What this means is, or the reason for this is, so pressure is the amount of force on the outside of the container, right? Sorry, the pushing against the container. As it is pushing against the container due to the speed which the particles are moving, as you heat them up, they move faster and faster, and then push harder against the outside of the container, or the inside of the container. So as the temperature decreases, so does the pressure. Again, they're proportional. So as temperature goes up, pressure goes up. As temperature goes down, pressure goes down. And that's Gay Lussac's law, and it's pretty straightforward. All right. If you have any questions, uh, ask them in the comments. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye now.